We have one, two, three, four, five vocabulary terms. Fair use, commercial purpose, copyright, creative commons, and public domain. When we're talking about people being online and using digital literacy, I think it's really important that they understand the vocabulary. Underneath the term is the definition. So we have term, fair use, the definition. If you don't understand the vocabulary context behind a lesson, you're at a distinct disadvantage. It's important to kind of look at a lesson and look right away at what vocabulary terms might a student struggle with, what things might be new and different to them before they get into the actual lesson so that they can really have all the background knowledge that they need. All you need to do is tell me what fair use means in your own words. Restate that definition. I use a vocabulary worksheet based on the first couple steps of the Marzano process. It is broken down into boxes with each of the vocabulary there, and it's got the vocabulary term with the definition, and then underneath the vocabulary definition, it asks the students to restate that term in their own words. In order just to restate it, you have to think of that and think, okay, what does this mean, so how would I put this in my own words? Anyone want to share their restatement? A law protecting creative work. Okay, a law protecting creative work. Just in general, people need to know vocabulary, but often when you're online, you're by yourself. There's not someone there to ask. There's not a teacher there to say, what does this term mean? Does this mean I can use it? Does this mean I can't use it? So if the students really do very thoroughly and clearly understand what that vocabulary term means, they can be there at home surfing online and see a website that says all of these images are creative commons and no you know, I can use this, but I have to give credit back to my source. Or if they see that it's public domain, they'll understand that that means this is free for me to use. Do you think it's important to give credit and get permission when you're using someone else's work? Show of hands. 